ministers in attendance here, ambassadors, high commissioners, CEOs, all protocol observed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our moment to move forward and progress as a continent. The MTN Group serves over 280 million subscribers. 70 million of them also use the network for their financial services in the form of mobile money. So we at MTN are seeing very clearly and every day how customers are connecting to loved ones every day, whether they're using voice or data services, how businesses small and large are using technology to be more efficient and to improve uh, the economic prospects of those businesses. And we're also seeing how governments are transforming themselves into much more efficient processes, adopting e-government policies to enable the distribution and uh, servicing of the, the citizens through technology and technology platforms. The data from the World Bank suggests that for every 10 percentage points of people who are now accessing the internet, there is a corresponding one to two percentage points of GDP growth that comes with that. So it is almost a no-brainer for Africa as a continent to embrace technology, to build the digital infrastructure that will accelerate the growth out of the challenges that we face right now today. To provide universal broadband for all Africans is going to require $100 billion of investment. As MTN, we deploy about $2 billion of capital expenditure every year to sustain our networks. So if we were to do it just by ourselves, it will take us f over 50 years, and we really don't have that amount of time. As a continent, we are seeing um, about $6 billion annually um, of uh, capital expenditure implemented uh, to sustain networks. That is not enough, and it will take us too long. And so there has to be forms and modalities to accelerate the investment in the digital infrastructure this continent so uh, badly needs to accelerate itself and actually catch up, if not go even further than developed uh, nations. I'd like to put forward a couple of recommendations that we would, as MTNC, as vital for Africa to accelerate its digital and financial inclusion through the adoption of uh, digital infrastructure, digital services and, uh, and frameworks. I think the first point is that we need a modernization and renewal of our regulatory frameworks uh, across Africa. So there is an enormous amount of capital that needs to be placed in building fiber networks across countries and also across regions. And as MTN, we are busy building an east to west fiber network starting out in Kenya and looking to get all the way up to Cameroon and in that way improve the latency and the experience that customers of our networks will have as they use 4G and 5G. The second point which is quite related to the first point is that there needs to be a fair share contribution from all the participants particularly in the private sector uh, in how this infrastructure is developed and used. The third area we would um, in a position is that we need to turn Africa into the skills hub for many of the digital skills required for the services that sit on top of the infrastructure. The other area that we would uh, point out is needed to drive um, you know, Africa forward is ensuring that we have stability agreements and the ability to have investment protection. And what we know as MTN is that there's a desire both on the African continent and outside of the African continent to invest in Africa because Africa is actually the last frontier of growth. Digital infrastructure, yes, is growing in developed markets, but the fastest growth of digital infrastructure sits within the context of this continent, and we need to take that privileged position and ensure that it works for us as Africans. Because when Africa prospers, we as MTN we must put digital infrastructure and capability at the center to ensure that Africa ultimately succeeds and every African can hold their head up high with dignity and pride so that we are not left behind. Thank you very much. Thank you.